Hello everyone, Steve with the Hobby Farm Guys here, welcoming you to today's Spotlight video. Each Monday, we turn the spotlight on a particular breed of hobby farm animal. Today, we learn about a broiler chicken that doubles as a pretty good layer of eggs. Developed to be a slower growing, more natural option for those who want a tasty meat bird, the Sasso chicken is hardier, healthier, and a better option to many of the fast growing broiler chicken breeds based off the Cornish cross. Sasso is French for delicious. Just kidding, that's not even remotely true. But the Sasso chicken is from France, shares its name with a company, and that name, Sasso, is actually an acronym, like SCUBA. I'll tell you what it stands for and get you the deets on this tasty chicken breed in just a few seconds. Often, when we talk about chickens, ducks, turkeys, pigs, goats, whatever, we select breeds that are well known or readily available in the United States. Most of our viewers are in the US, and so it makes sense for us to focus on these breeds. But sometimes, today for example, we highlight a breed that's widely popular outside the US, but not very well known in the States. But that's changing. The Sasso chicken is becoming more and more readily available in the US, and is already hugely popular in parts of Europe and throughout Africa. In the 1950s, Serge Peralt from southern France was concerned with preserving traditional chicken breeds. A cooperative of farmers in the area began a project involving de a development of the Label Rouge specifications for traditional chicken. The Label Rouge is a quality assurance label defined in French law. The label certifies that a product has a specific set of characteristics establishing a superior level to that of a similar current product. To obtain the Label Rouge, the very stringent set of standards must be met. These standards establish the criteria the product must meet throughout the production chain, including farming techniques, feed processing, and distribution. These actions led to the creation of SASO, which is an acronym for Selection Avicole de la Sarthe et Sud West, or in English, Poultry Selection from the Sarthe and Southwest. SASO thus became the name of both the company and the chicken, kind of like a Louis Vuitton bag or Nike sneakers. Though there may be different looking bags or sneakers, we call them Louis Vuittons or Nikes. So too with Sasso chickens. Different strains, but all referred to as Sasso chickens. The Sasso chicken is a hybrid broiler chicken, similar for instance to a Cornish cross. But Sasso chickens have been developed for those who prefer a slower growing alternative to the fast maturing Cornish cross varieties. Even though they're slower growing, they're still a heavy bodied bird and pack a lot of meat on their frames. Characterized by a strong body and a low rise, a wide chest and a small head, they also have a small comb and relatively short wings. Sasso males reach an average of 5 to 6 pounds, live weight by only 10 to 12 weeks of age. This puts them close in growth rate to another broiler chicken, the Freedom Ranger. The feathering is a light tan and slightly barred or speckled. They have yellow skin and great rich flavor. The meat is firm with a rich succulent unique flavor that's sometimes compared to duck. The meat is said to hold moisture well, remaining juicy well after cooking. And if you don't butcher them, females begin laying at around 5 months and are good layers, producing about 250 eggs a year. Healthier than Cornish cross varieties, they don't suffer from the same health challenges and are actually a pretty hardy breed. They're able to handle extreme climates. This is one of the main reasons these birds are so popular in Africa. They shrug off extreme climate and go about their business of growing big and juicy while providing a steady supply of eggs. They're a free-ranging breed and need space to wander and forage. So if you're looking for a unique broiler chicken, take a look at the Sasso. Beginning to appear in American hatcheries, they're widely available throughout many parts of the world. Thanks for watching everybody. Just three more things before I go. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and keep on hobby farming.